remaining room is called to order. First order of business is the Pledge of Allegiance. If you'd all rise, remove your caps. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the United States, the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Um, Candace will call the roll. Jerry Harris? Here. Alan Smith? Here. Yeah. Bill Starnes? Here. Rob Colbert? Here. Fire Chief Rose? Here. And Trish is our resident visitor. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and then as on um, the last couple of meetings due to COVID and the fact that all of our documents are posted online, um, all of our directors and members will go ahead and summarize their reports instead of reading them in their entirety. The uh, next item we need to check, any, any directors, any board members, are there any last minute uh, uh, additions to the agenda? Seeing none, we'll, uh, we'll proceed to approval of the minutes. Um, Candace, uh, one, one change we did note is we, we actually met here at the fire station instead of the garage. I, I think that. think that was one, one, one piece. Any, any other changes? Uh, you're right. Okay, seeing none, uh, the chair will call the roll. Jerry, do you know how we, are we having a motion to approve? Yes, yes, need a motion, thank you. Okay, move to approve the minutes as okay. corrected. Second. All right, Jerry makes the motion. Bill seconds. Okay, Jerry. Aye. Aye. Bill. Aye. Alan. Aye. Candace. Aye. And the chair votes in the affirmative. Minutes as corrected are passed. Uh, next item is our financial report, Bill. Uh, yeah, uh, I deposited part of our. Uh, Checks coming in of $8,038.91. Uh, $8, um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, Bill, just, seven, just, eight, nine, Bill, two. just a moment. Alan, are you able to hear Bill? Barely. Oh. Okay, so I'm just going to move my computer closer to him. Okay. Uh, we wrote 10 checks. Uh, deposit, I deposited $8,038.91 into our checking account. Uh, we uh, have a payout of $7,467.24 and uh, our any checking account right now was a minus $3,342.98. Interest was $7.55 on our money market and our money market is $183.00. $183,717.38. We have a little bit of uh, screw up, uh, screw up on our uh, uh, credit card. Uh, we wrote the check, they came back and said they didn't receive it, but uh, so I went and put a stop payment on it. And uh, the same day they found the check and cashed it. And at the same time, uh, Steve Rhodes, the uh, paid for it online, so we haven't figured out what's going on with that yet. So we're, uh, they've got $5,800 of our money floating around and we don't know where it is right now. We're trying to figure it out. I'll, I'll Steve, straighten that one out a little better. <laughs> All right. They, uh, uh, the, uh, so I made the online payment and the check cash. It ended up that uh, we had another but that was for the month before. So actually this month's credit card bill is already paid, the one that will be due in December. So um, so they, the credit card company right now says we don't owe them anything. And uh, I, I kind of disagree with them. I think we owe them about 80 or $90. So we're gonna figure that one out before. They, they reversed all charges. Um, when our check went in there, it got into the system. And then they, they never made it back to the bank. They lost it somewhere. And they said it's a glitch in their system. They had charged us interest and the late fees. And then the bank has charged us $35 on the stop payment. So we're still trying to figure that one out because the check went through even though we stopped payment. So uh, anyway, uh, and a, just a, one addendum to Bill's report is since uh, this time, we've gotten about 
uh, let's see, so 8,000 went in last month. We've we got gotten about $52,000 in tax money deposited the first couple of weeks of this month. So. Yeah, I deposited uh, 24,000 approximately th this month. Yeah. And I put 10,000 in our checking and the rest in our money market account. So, so we're, we probably got 90, 85, 90% of our tax revenue so far. And as of today, uh, the bank said we had just over $200,000 in the money market account. I'd like to have a motion okay. to pay the bills. Move to pay the bills. Okay, thank you, Jerry. Is there a second? I second. Okay, uh, Candace and Alan both second. <laughs> uh, so we have a motion on the floor to pay the bills. Uh, the chair will call the roll. Jerry. Aye. Jerry votes affirmative. Bill. Aye. Bill votes affirmative. Candace. Aye. Candace votes affirmative. Alan. Aye. Alan votes affirmative, and the chair votes affirmative. Motion to pay the bills passes. Okay, we will now go to our, our communications report. All right, I would just like to add uh, one thing of note um, to the general items that people can see in, in my report. Um, I did post on the volunteers page of the website um, the photos from the volunteers burn to learn training. So uh, I hope people will visit and take a look at what they were participating in. All right, thank you very much, Gary. Uh, next, uh, we have our uh, we have public comments uh, for agenda items. Anybody that has any public comments, uh, Ann, any public comments on the agenda? That's right. Well, I was up here balancing my checkbook. What was that? All right. Any public comments? I don't have any. Okay. Great. All right. Thank you. Uh, now we'll move on to our chief's report. Uh, we're going to summarize. I just want to say that in uh, November we had 30 calls, which is probably I can't remember ever having 30 calls since I've been here, but um, uh, we had a variety, a whole bunch of natural cover fires after fire season ended. And uh, probably the biggest one we had the year in our area was up here on Ziegler uh, after fire season ended. So anyway, uh, uh, light burn training is, uh, I think uh, to summarize everything, we're, we're uh, under the COVID, the COVID uh, OSHA temporary order for us. That includes this building to shut down to public access. Uh, we have a, a variety of orders that we have to do on calls and uh, when we're responding and as far as even attending training at the station. So we've got to a staggered schedule where we have small groups here. You'll see people here all times of the day now on, our, on oddball days because we can't have more than six at a time. Um, uh, we had to uh, do a assessment and then a, a plan, which I, I, I sent to the board. I don't know if that, that got posted or anything, but it's, it's been sent to the board, so it's a policy we have. And uh, uh, let's, and also may a notification ask, program. Can I ask you about that? Yeah. It, is that uh, the policy now that I could put up on the website to replace the old one? Right. And Because um, um, you had mentioned something about you needed to wait, I think, until tomorrow that there might be further changes? So it, it, the changes for the next two weeks are out and there are no changes in Douglas County anyway. Okay. So I'll have to write that again and, and extend the date on it for two more weeks. So we're gonna be going two weeks, two weeks just like everybody else in the world is. Um, the the COVID-19 thing, we've had, uh, nobody in our department has tested positive, but we've had several people on quarantine. Uh, we've been exposed a couple times on calls, but we tested negative, all of us. And uh, uh, we're just, I'm, I'm doing a lot of training and everything with them just to make sure that, that we're, what, when we're quarantined, we're quarantined until we're tested and the test comes back negative, and then we're coming back. So uh, our, our supplies are all adequate on that and we're doing okay. Bills and stuff are going on just like normal. Our uh, our annual property liability insurance came in. That's probably the biggest thing coming up right now. It's uh, a 5% increase this year. With our longevity credit with SDAO, it limited 5% because gener in general insurance has gone up about 12% this year. So we're still within budget and uh, uh, it went up about $370 on, on a total bill of about $7,700. 
With it. Oh, we also added another vehicle this year on that too, so it really wasn't that much of an increase. Uh, and then we're working on the reimbursement for both the BFA grant, which is about almost $10,000, and then uh, we probably have about $6,000 in COVID-19 reimbursable expenses for the materials we've used this year. And we also have, I haven't finished the total figures on it, but the reimbursement for the Archie Creek fire is going to come in. It's probably going to be in the neighborhood of $10,000. And uh, at least the department's going to uh, experience uh, uh, a reimbursement for the units that were used on that fire and stuff. So uh, we'll all, we'll get some money back out of that also. Is that coming from FEMA? Uh, the, we do have, the COVID stuff comes from FEMA. The BFA grant comes from the Oregon Department of Forestry. I meant the reimbursement. The reimbursement for the Archie Creek is going to come through the Oregon Department of Forestry. Thank you. Uh, and a lot, the other stuff, uh, that will all be posted also. Uh, okay. Yeah, the FEMA okay. grant's coming up for the SCBAs. We've uh, met with that in the final, uh, Image, the final list and everything, what we're getting is just about, by December 31st, we're going to have that straight out. So that'll be it. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Um, Mr. Hayes, thank you very much, Chief. Uh, next, uh, any board members aware of any old business we have pending? Any old business? Seeing not any new business that a board member would, would care to present. Seeing, seeing none, uh, we'll move on to director's reports. Um, you know, for myself, I know just like uh, fire chief and with the station, you know, working through the schools, we're dealing, uh, you know, with ever-changing matrix. Um, I'm not sure from, uh, from how it's working with the fire station, I'm actually starting to appreciate a little bit this county level piece. It's actually making it a little easier to start projecting two weeks out what, you know, what we can and can't do. So um, I think one piece of good news is we're starting to figure the metrics out and make, you know, putting in a system that you know, at least uh, agencies and organizations can function under and, and start predicting. So I, I see the chief nodding, so hopefully yeah, it's the same plan. And, and as long as we stay in extreme, which I hate to see that, but that's what's happening. Okay, other directors. Here. Alan, director's report? Nothing. Bill? Nothing. Candace? Nothing. Okay, uh, so we move on to our last round of public comments. Any uh, Anyone in the public want to make a comment? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right, thank you. So with that, um, our next meeting will be the third Wednesday in January, January 20th, 20th of 2021. Hey, I, oh, can I interrupt? Yes. I'd like to make a recommendation that each meeting we do that by motion because okay. uh, our bylaws do say that it's the second Wednesday of the month, and as long as we're under COVID, uh, I, I think as long as we motion each month, the reason we're doing it, and it, the next month will be third week, okay. that we'll be fine. And okay. We'll go back when we can go back to our regular meetings. We can. Okay, so at this point, uh, we will reopen the floor for new business. Is there anyone that would like to make a motion? I'll move uh, that our next be meeting, uh, due to COVID restrictions, be held on the third Wednesday in January, January 20th of 2021. Okay, thank you. Is there a second? Second. Uh, it's been properly moved and seconded um, to go ahead and move uh, for reasons of COVID. Uh, move our meeting to the third Wednesday in January, which will be January 20th. Is there, oh, I'm sorry, 20th, you're right. Uh, is there any discussion? I just want to make sure that, uh, and, and also that's our, our board chairman is on the uh, Winston Dillard School District Board meetings on the second week. So I'm, as long as this, uh, all these uh, things are happening, we may be moving to the third week each month. So, but I, unless, Rather than do a, a, a total bylaw change or something, if we do it month by month, I think we're better off. Okay. Thank you very much for that for that catch. Okay. Any discussion? Seeing none, the chair will call the roll. Jerry. Aye. Jerry votes in the affirmative. Bill. Aye. Bill votes in the affirmative. Candace. Aye. Candace votes in the affirmative. Alan. 
Allen votes in the affirmative, and I also cast my vote in the affirmative. So the motion to move our next meeting to January 20th, the third Wednesday of the month, passes. All right, thank you. Uh, with that, uh, unless there are any other comments, Who we seconded that. Bill, I did. Bill okay. seconded Jerry, Jerry made the motion. Yeah. Okay. okay, with that, we stand adjourned until January 20th.